Hello YouTube, it's PSU Gaming Scotland here and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are well and gaming lots. So in today's video I thought with the PS5 now officially launched in the UK, I still wanted to talk about the PS4 and the PS4 games. Now that's exactly what I'm going to be doing in today's video. I'm going to be bringing you my PS4 Buyer's Guide for 2020. This is the yearly series in which I look at the games of said year, i.e. in 2020, talk about some of my favourite games I've enjoyed this year and also games that have been recommended to me by friends. Just before we get into this video, prices are correct at the time of recording, i.e. November 2020. They may fluctuate, go up and down depending on where you are in the world and what sales you are aware of but these prices are correct at the time of recording so bear that in mind when I'm going to be telling you the prices of these games as of now. So if you watch this in the future the prices may go up and down but as always my own personal bit of advice is shop around to try and get the best deal that you can for these games as obviously 2020 has been such a horrendous year but I definitely think gaming has brought us all closer together. So anyway guys, let's jump into my PS4 buyer's guide for 2020. So first up then we have the Resident Evil 3 Remake. Now personally this is a game that I've personally not played but I can't wait to try it out and hopefully earn the Platinum eventually. But yeah, this is a game that was also recommended to me by friends and it follows on the story of Resident Evil 2 Remake. Now personally the Resident Evil 2 Remake was one of my favourite games of 2019 in terms of its story, the gameplay, collectibles, boss fights and also great graphics and they also had quite a lot of DLC onto that game which was entirely free as well which was really good of them and yeah it's a really fun exciting really horror filled game it was just incredible now I hope Resident Evil 3 will be just as good now I do know and I am also aware that Resident Evil 3 has a lot of cut content which also annoyed a lot of fans of the franchise and games so just bear that in mind when you are potentially going to be buying this game in the future but yeah so the prices as I've said in the intro aren't set in stone and could change at any time. Now currently PlayStation are doing their Black Friday sale. A lot of these games in this list are in this sale which is just a coincidence but yeah so the Black Friday sale currently has this game at £16 which is really good in my opinion but I have seen this up to around the £25 mark in the UK. Now obviously we're going to be using pounds in the UK so you'll have to use a currency converter if you are not from the UK. So yeah £25 is still a reasonable price for this game and definitely one I recommend you pay for the, uh, around this price. So secondly we have the Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Now again this is a game that I'm really wanting to start and play. There's well over a hundred hours of gameplay here from what I've heard from friends and from what I've seen online. It would be my first entry into the Final Fantasy franchise as I've not played Final Fantasy games prior to this. So I'm really I'm excited and looking forward to this game. But as I said the PlayStation Store is running their Black Friday event currently at the time of recording. PlayStation Plus Black Friday has this game for £39. But I have seen this game online up to £45. Now personally, if you think that price is worth it or that range of prices is worth it for this game, then I recommend you buy it. If not, as always, wait for a sale to try and get it at your preferred price point. So Final Fantasy VII Remake looks incredible, I can't wait to play it. So next up we have The Last of Us Part 2. Obviously, if you know me and you know the channel, I did a review on The Last of Us Part 2 a few months ago when it released. Personally, I wasn't a fan of the story, however, the gameplay, the sound design, the accessibility options, the, the world is absolutely incredible and for that it's one of my favourite games of the year even though personally I didn't like the story. However, I'd still recommend this game personally from my own personal point of view as I've had a lot of time to soak it up and it is a very controversial game so bear that in mind if you were to play it. Try and avoid spoilers, there'll be no spoilers for any of these games in this video which is good and PlayStation Store Black Friday has the game at £31 which is pretty damn good in my opinion. I have seen this game up up to around £45-£50, to we're closer to the £45 mark online. So yeah, Last of Us 2, very controversial game and I'm intrigued to see what Naughty Dog have in store. I'm hoping they have Factions Part 2 as the Factions mode in The Last of Us Remastered was incredible. I want to see that return and personally Last of Us Part 3, I would love to see one, love to play one in the future but at this moment in time I don't see how they could do a Part 3 unless it was like a prequel between Tommy and Joel potentially. Anyway, that being said, let's jump into Ghost of Tsushima. Now, Ghost of Tsushima has been one of my favourite games of 2020. I 
personally recommend you play this game. Recently did a review on the channel as well, just the attention to detail and the way Sucker Punch have captured that time period of 1274 Japan is exquisite and it's a really lovingly crafted game from Sucker Punch and I really can't wait to see a part 2 if there is one. So Black Friday has this game on sale for £39 which is incredible but since it's recently released it's still around the £50 mark which is probably standard for a PS4 game but if you really are not bothered about getting the game right now by all means wait for a sale and you'll be able to pick that up for a lot less. So next up we have, I would call this an indie title, that's Fall Guys. Now Fall Guys was originally free on PS Plus in August when it released on PS Plus. Personally this game is the game that I've put the most time and effort into in trying to obtain the Platinum Trophy. Personally I'm two trophies still away from the Platinum as one of the trophies in this game is nearly impossible as only 0.1% of players have this Platinum. So yeah, Fall Guys is a really fun multiplayer game and it's just like a sort of Tateshi's Castle style of game where you start off with 60 players and round by round you lose players trying to jump and dodge and have team games with different obstacles and what have you. And it's really fun. A game for all the family. It's a sort of battle royale and one person can win. Really quick game so yeah it's just an incredible game and one I recommend you try. PS Plus has this game for £12 in the sale and also I've seen this game between £16 and £20 on Steam. Other online retailers are available. So next up this is a game from my childhood that has been remade, remastered for the PS4 and that's Samurai Jack A Battle Through Time. So you play a Samurai Jack there's some really cool cutscenes from the show and each level you have different weapons you can upgrade and fight against different enemy types. It's got a lot of platforming, a lot of collectibles. Yeah, and it's also quite a fun single player narrative experience as well. It's almost like a collective phone style game and it's yeah one that I again haven't played but has been recommended to me by friends and it's one that I'm definitely looking at picking up eventually. So that's around £33 but I'd probably wait for a sale personally. I think that's what I'm going to do for this game as well well, wait for a sale and hopefully you'll be able to pick it up for a lot cheaper. So next up we have another remake of one of my childhood games and that's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Now Tony Hawk 1 was the main one I played. I vaguely remember playing a bit of Tony Hawk 2 but they were really fun arcade skateboarding games that I played with friends or s with myself. It was just really fun to create your own skater, create your own skate park and just try and beat your friends on leaderboards and what have you. And yeah it was just incredible. The soundtrack again is exquisite. They have removed a couple of songs from the original games but I think this new modern soundtrack is just as good as the original. So yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater can be picked up during the Black Friday sale for around £30 which is okay I would say. I would say it's okay but I definitely think there'll be sales in the future that you can get it around that price or slightly cheaper as some of these games have been holding their value quite a lot which is quite unusual for PlayStation games but yeah I suppose these retailers want to try and get as much as they can especially as Christmas is coming up and what have you. But yeah, one I recommend. It's very difficult, but yeah, if you keep trying, you will hopefully get the Platinum. And they've also added a new update, which means XP, you get more XP for different high scoring runs and what have you, which is good as well. So another game that I love from my childhood, which has got a brand new sequel, Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. Now this game, platforming game, has got a really good story, a good range of characters, and it's extremely difficult, especially Crash 4. In terms of the Platinum, basically you have to 100% the game and in the Insane Trilogy which is my favourite series of games from a few years ago, I think 2017 you have to obviously do the time trials and get gold relics minimum for platinum whereas this game, 100% the game basically not die in order to get all platinum relics which is the kicker for this platinum but from what I've seen it does look a very fun game and there's a lot of hidden collectibles and what have you and I might pick this up, I might not but friends have also recommended me this game but it's not for the faint hearted very difficult game and that can be picked up between 39 to 45 pound that's a bit high personally in my opinion but yeah obviously with a sale this game will probably be on sale or potentially could be and hopefully you'll be able to pick that up at a lot cheaper in the future so these final two games have currently not been released still wanted to include them as they are slated for 2020 first one being cyberpunk 2077 this game has been delayed multiple times it looks incredible i really can't wait to play this game and it's meant to be releasing 10th of December but I do hope the game finally is releasing then for £50. That's pretty bog standard for PS4 prices and I genuinely can't wait to give this one a shot. Graphically it looks incredible. I really love the cyberpunk aesthetic and the fact you can choose different areas
layers of the game to start in and that sort of molds your experience and what have you for the open world I can't wait to play this and finally we have Twin Mirror which is a sort of an indie sort of choose your own adventure game for £25 I've currently only seen this on PlayStation Store other online stores are available but I hope this game does get a physical release in the future the Life of Strange games is very similar to this game they have all had physical releases and I think this one will in the future £25 is a pretty reasonable price in my opinion so basically Twin Mirror you play as a, a guy in America and basically you have a night out and you wake up but you have no memory of what happened the night before and obviously through trying to find out what happened uh, on that night with like quite a violent night had obviously happened with trailers and things that I've seen online you have to piece together what happened and why you are where you are in your location and just try to piece together the mystery of what happened that night that something really terrible happened basically don't, I don't really know much more about it than that myself so but yeah, this game does appeal it does intrigue me quite a lot so there you go guys that has been my ps4 buyer's guide for 2020 as always let me know your thoughts below and let me know what games you would recommend for 2020 as games obviously have to be in 2020 for this video thank you very much indeed for watching i've been psu gaming scotland and i'll see you on another video thanks very much indeed guys bye bye